Meet T-Tuck. Could you believe that one week before this, he had his final chemotherapy treatment? This was just one of the extraordinary stories that I learned about here on my visit to Flagstaff. On this trip, we played a little golf, we made some new friends, and I hit the stage for performance, all to support an amazing cause. I'm Garibaldi, and this is Art Life Flagstaff. All right, so we made it out here to Flagstaff, Arizona, and uh, today, yes, I'm going to attempt golf. Uh, don't tell anyone, but I'm not that good. But I'm just gonna dress like I'm good and act like I'm good until they actually see me swing, so. Wish me luck on that. We have a whole weekend ahead, but today we're gonna to start here with golf. We're gonna meet a young man, a young boy who's eight years old, but has gone through so much life already. You'll be meeting him soon, and uh, it's just gonna be a fun, let's just say, a my golf game questionable day. So anyways, I'm ready to get this trip started here. This is Art Life Flagstaff. So before we can even get started, uh, Mother Nature wants us to take a little break. I don't know if it's uh, what the deal is, but check this out. The rain is coming down hard right now, so we're going to wait a little bit. There's lightning, there's thunder. Uh, I'm not golfing in that. You hear that? Just wait. That's some creepy lightning and thunder. We'll see how this turns out. I promise it'll get better. It'll get better. T Tut and his family are from Thailand. They moved to Arizona after T-Tut was diagnosed with cancer. Yes. Their family had been separated for years as T-Tut got treatment, and they've only recently reunited. What's inspiring about his story and other boys and girls that are diagnosed yeah. with cancer is their spirit, the human spirit, this unexplainable thing that pushes you to overcome obstacles even at such a young age. I mean, he's only eight years old. But don't let that fool you, his golf game is on point. With all that aside, I was happy that the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Shadows Foundation had arranged this golf game between us. I won't tell you the final score, but let's just say he was the better one on our team. So how is your golf game today? This is good. How's my golf game? Good. He's being kind. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. This is fun. This is a nice day out here. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. TMT. In the end, it was great to see him with his father, with his brother, and to just be a kid. Now, this is actually the fun part, the part that no one sees before I hit the stage. This is where I get my mind right, to get prepared and to go out there and do something that I love.
If you asked me in high school, would I be jumping around throwing paint on stage? I would never believe you. But in some weird way, this is where my heart led me to do this, to create this way. Whether people like it or not, this is what I love. But at the same time, as much as I love to paint, it's way more than that. It's always been way more than just art. This is about connecting. This is about using what I do as a platform for something bigger. I was inspired by an artist, Denny Dent. Every time he ended a painting, he would slap his hand. So I started doing that. And at first, it was just to end the painting. But over time, it took on a whole new meaning. When I slap my hand, it's about leaving my mark and saying, this is my moment. I'm alive. I'm living. I invited T-Tut on stage. I wanted him to leave his mark, his handprint, to not just say I'm alive, but to say I'm living and to leave his mark behind. I will beat whatever challenge comes my way. I also invited others on stage who the Shadows Foundation has benefited greatly, but I wanted them to leave their mark, this little boy. He was only given a one year to live. And as he placed his hand on that canvas, I'm happy to say that he's one year and one month old. And that little hand said, I'm alive and I am living. We were all here to leave a handprint behind, to leave our mark. You can start with your passion, but at some point, when you apply this purpose behind it that's bigger than you, you start to change the world around you. Leave your mark, leave your handprint, so that that says, not only am I alive, but I am living. So that was, that was really, really special to be able to uh, share the stage with those that have benefited from shadows. And if they benefited from them in some way, they've had some sort of life-threatening threatening disease. And to see them make their mark and say that this is life and I'm living, I think they, they said it better than me. But when they did, I felt like they said, this is our life.